Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a tree map to make your point. Imagine you are the sales manager at Yamalicious, a fictional producer in the mineral water industry. Your core business is installing rental water cooler dispensers in small to mid-size offices and stocking them with five gallon bottles of sparkling mineral water. You have five people in your sales team responsible for identifying new customer leads, pitching to prospective customers, as well as obtaining orders from current clients. Unfortunately, one of your salespeople did not hit his quota last month. Talking to the salesperson, he mentioned that sales are slow because people were out of the office for the holidays. To investigate the situation further, you consulted the monthly sales activity report for your team. At Yamalicious, each salesperson is required to record the time spent on contacting current and prospective customers either in person, by telephone, text, email, or on social media, scheduling meetings with current or prospective customers, delivering sales pitches about Yamalicious products and services, preparing and sending sales proposals, requesting referrals, preparing and submitting a monthly activity and sales report. Based upon the percentage of time devoted to these different responsibilities, you created a tree map for the last month's sales activities for each salesperson. At the top of the map is the title identifying the different salespeople at Yamalicious. The data source is at the bottom. The tree map is organized into three branches, communicating with current and prospective customers, engaging with current and prospective customers, and reporting sales activities and sales figures. The communicating and the engagement branches are further divided into leaves identifying current customers and prospective customer engagement. Finally, the size of the boxes represents the percentage of time that the salesperson spent on each responsibility last month. Now you're ready to write a three-part description analysis of the tree map. In the beginning, your executive summary should explain how the tree map is organized into branches and leaves. For example, Consistently hitting sales quotas requires constant refinement of the processes that lay the groundwork to establish new accounts and or meet the needs of our customers. The Yamalicious sales approach involves two pivotal activities, communication and engagement, with current and prospective customers. Yamalicious also fosters a working environment of reflection and learning, where monthly sales activities and sales reports help us reach our full potential. Next comes the description of the sales activity of the person who failed to meet his target. Last month, a considerable amount of time, 70%, was spent communicating with prospective customers. In-person meetings, 15%, and telephone calls, 20%, were the preferred means of communication. Engagement largely centered around delivering sales pitches at 20% and explaining sales proposals, also at 20%. Now comes your call to action. What needs to be done to turn things around and make a negative into a positive? Failing to achieve a sales target is best seen as an opportunity to learn and improve. During the holiday season, the time required to meet with current and prospective customers increases exponentially. As such, it might be time to take another tact. For example, spread some holiday cheer on social media, text messages and or emails promoting our discount referral campaign or even drop off a complimentary case of our new Mountain Springs bottled water at our loyal customers so that they can enjoy it at their holiday office party. The holidays, in short, is the perfect time to show our appreciation while sharing the great taste of the Amalicious. In summary, a tree map is an effective way to organize and show the hierarchical relationships within a dataset. Moreover, a tree map with all its branches and leaves can effectively bring together multiple data points into a single visualization and reveal patterns within a data set through the use of color. Looking through all of this data has certainly made me thirsty. I think I'll try one of those bottles of spring water that Yamalicious brought by last week. But before I do, thanks for your time and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize your data so that you can make your point.